Jokes on you, Sothan. I don't even know what one is. <laughs> Whoa. Me neither, Chris Man. Me and you, side by side. Welcome to the stream, Sothan, Chris Man. We've got a hole to dig ourselves out of. Yesterday, I think for the very last time, I did a simple, um, clear one and two. Which do you fancy? And the tee hee hee people got to make a very terrible decision in game. Are we heading fast towards the bad ending? <gasps> Your eye is swollen way more this morning. Is swollen eyes a symptom? Is that one of them? Corona confirmed that's point for the oranges. <laughs> One of us is going to get it, I'm fairly sure. So then, Chris Man, welcome to the stream. Are you both well? Right. So. Whoa, the music though. So, the uh, somewhat tyrannical humans wanted to annihilate a bunch of... Vaguely terrorist uh, non-humans, elves and dwarves who took some villagers hostage to try and, um, what's the word, to try and negotiate peace. And instead of either staying out of the battle or uh, siding with the elves, we sided with the humans and butchered all of the non-humans to the point where the elves and the dwarves of Azima have risen up and are currently burning the city down. Uh, we are heading after that decision head first into the bad ending and I decided to take creative control and to desperately try and claw back some morality in the final stages of this game because we don't want the bad ending right Didri Dan welcome to the stream so from now on instead of a simple one and two because as Gwynblade said it can very quickly become a 13 year old's playthrough we're going to have reasoned dis uh, discussion to try and find no if you have a vote, you've got to have a reason behind it, and it's got to be reasonable enough to convince me otherwise if you disagree with whatever path I choose to take. How about that? So we can get a bit more of a discussion instead of simply rolling the dice or letting the people who'd like to see the tee hee hee ending ruin a playthrough. How about that? So it's basically the same thing, but it just cuts out the uh, stupid guesses. Sorry, that was a bit of a long explanation, but it needed to happen. Chris Man GG, thank you very much for the orange point. How would we confirm if somebody does? I vote on everything for this game where I can because I care. Absolutely. And most people do, so at uh, Christmas. But we hit a really weird situation yesterday where the positive, or where one side was rational and the other side was, this will be fun. And as a result of this will be fun one, somewhat fucked the, uh... <laughs> fucked the playthrough. Stubbler has added 10 hours to the playthrough. Hey, I wish. I don't know if that's true. So I'd say fuck people that barely vote or care um, uh, until the last bits. Well, what I think is we'll have a discussion, Chris, man, and then everybody can have their say. We'll come to a, a decision based on rationality instead of uh, lol, tee hee hee. Oh, God, yeah, wait, 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 wait. So, Vizima's on fire. Let me see if I can get some plot summary the one problem is is that the humans that we sided with which was Siegfried's group the humans that we sided with um, have locked Old Town down and set fire to it they are willing to um, let the human population of the Old Town die as well just to kill the elves so there's a lot of innocent poor people in that side of the town I think there is something there is the the King Foltest, who's returned, I think he's kind of uh, taken advantage of this so he can get rid of some poor people. Right, the Knights of the Order and the Scoyatel elves are battling in Old Vizima. Zoltan mentioned some nonsense about the Order's evil intentions. I should make sure they're not killing civilians. We've got to try and claw some morality back in this playthrough. You were right, you did it. And, uh, look at the state of this place. Let me eat. A blueberry. I'll get my health back because that's old town up there. It's a fucking war zone. 
Also, it was a bit difficult to get into the city yesterday, so this might be a lot of chops, because it turns out the elves and the dwarves are a lot stronger than the humans. Are we ready? It's like a state of decay. Ah, ah, ah. Chrisman, thank you for the bits and for testing out if they work today. Um, I'm going to sharpen up this sword and we're going to go in and start chopping. I don't want to chop too many elves and dwarves though. But look how many there are! Look at this! Oh god! No major plot characters have died, but I've got a lot of elves that aren't happy with me. The state of the world is in... Oh, whoa! And I upset Yavin halfway through the playthrough. Oh, look at that stupid stealth kill. Yeah, the state of the world's not very good. I've got to fight my way through all this to get to Old Town. Do you see them stunts, Chris, man? Did you see that? <laughs> oh. Stream title idea. Elf isolation. Fucking World Elf Organization would be good as well. Why did I not think of any of these? I don't want to be killing elves to get through though, that's the problem. Book it, I'm gonna book it. Right. No. No. Mate, keep him busy. I just need to get through this door, but I can't do it because I'm always in combat. Okay, maybe not. I'll just run up and walk through. Right, we've never been here before. This is old Vizima. And it's burning. Oh god. Final chapter. Gracious sire, this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velorad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its Full corners. Test. Gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Uh. Non-humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! Hell, the elves are chopping. Okay, maybe not, not that one. For freedom! Kill the Dwan! Dwan being humans. I'll hang you by your own guts, human! It's the Grand Master! We're saved! You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. Oh, you must man. Act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army and the freedom to do as I see fit. Fuck. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. We've made the Order of the Flaming Rose or whatever it is way too powerful. I would say it's quite good animations for its time, but only if the, its time was 2001. <laughs> what is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Oh god. Do we work for full test? Oh god, I've gonna go right into his fucking bedroom here. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. Dewet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velorad has known Ada since her childhood. 
and Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Shit. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, Your Highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. I'm not finished. I didn't Those sleep with you his left charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Absolutely, sire. The non-humans must pay. With your backing, the order... Unfortunately, the knights have forgotten their place. They've developed a taste for power and want more. That is not something Get I can allow. That. You stood by while the order's power increased. Perhaps you should negotiate with the Grand Master. And perhaps I should behead the Grand Master and his underlings. That would solve the problem. Sadly, it's not that simple. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. Holy shit, it hurts so much hearing Geralt say the non-humans must pay. The damage that was done in yesterday's stream is potentially insurmountable. But there might be a way that we can dismantle the order because it's the order that we helped get so powerful that butchered all the non-humans and the non-humans just wanted their freedom we've got to save this playthrough it's got to be done right where are we all we're in full tests castle right okay right let me just try and piece together where we are and what we're doing that was a strange start to the stream i apologize if it was a bit talky Good blade, welcome to the stream. Nope, you're full on Sith now, suck it. The king left me with Triss, Velarad, and Duet. He wants me to consult them before we meet again. Princess Ada has turned into a strigger once again, and I need to figure out what to do. The king will summon me again. I got a sex card from her. Got to butcher the non humans. Ryan, welcome to the stream. I've taken creative control, and maybe going to save Geralt's soul. You can't be racist against non-humans if, if there aren't any. <laughs> True. I'm so committed to, to, to fixing this. Jamie, welcome to the stream. If you were stuck in self-isolation, you'd still be playing this game after 14 days continuously. It does feel that way. Jamie, welcome to the stream. Are you stuck at home? Right, we've got some problems to fix, though. This game's ramped right up towards the end. I've accidentally become a human supremacist. So, it's time to return to Vizima and deal with the Tsar Javed once and for all. I want to see what all these quests say. I still need to find the notes of an elven minstrel. I need to find crypts. Find Berengar should speak with him. Must visit. Right. The king has left me with Triss, Velarad, and Duet. He wants me to consult. Hang on. He wants me to consult them before we meet again. Princess Ada has turned into a strigger, and I need to figure out what to do. Okay, right, so I guess it's time for me to speak to Triss, Velarad, and Duet. Well, Velarad's here. Let's go speak to Triss. She's still a bit pissed off after I accidentally married Dirt Shani. No, he said Cardi then. Now you've got a day off, the card trade doesn't stop for a glorified, for a glorified cult. <laughs> it might, though. Triss. What do you want? Triss. Don't call me that. People might mistake us for more than acquaintances, and I cannot be friends with someone who doesn't trust me. While we're at it, where's Alvin? Um, I don't know. He teleported himself somewhere despite that amulet I gave him. You and that incompetent troubadour are like irresponsible and short-sighted children. This would never have happened if Alvin had been with me. But the Witcher knew better and does as he pleases. Triss. I said, don't call me that. Alvin might be anywhere. There's no way to locate him. What will you screw up next? Fucking hell. There might be some chance we can pull this around. 
I think this is, this is a good example of how Trump and Brexit happened. As singular people, we're all mostly sound, but give us a vote on something and we blow it up. <laughs> yeah. Common man is too powerful, right? The lol, this'll be fun gene is too strong. Um, What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dime Meridian. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm -hmm. Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere. Perhaps even through time. What? Is Alvin Siri? What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. So, we could potentially be ending the game as we started it. Any theories? Years ago, when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. Yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Bellarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? I wouldn't dream of boring you with them. I know you're busy slaying non-humans. It's not like that. Oh, excuse me. Quelling a rebellion. Is that what they call it? Eliminating terrorists? I see no uh, difference. I've got to go. Fucking hell yeah, it is Olga. She refuses to speak to us. Ah, it's gone so bad. We've got to old Vizima. And in the royal castle, everything is fine, but outside, it's on fire. We're gonna claw it back if it fucking kills me. Okay, Triss believes someone from Ada's entourage caused her to turn once again into a strig. Oh, and uh, King Foltest's daughter's turned again. It's all going so wrong. Right, Velarad, you might know. Who turned Ada? Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Basically, oh, yes, yeah, she has. Basically, just imagine the worst thing that could happen to every single uh, thing in the game. And then that, basically. You're fucking up every little thing about that. I know, right? The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? Certainly, though I grow weary of aiding fools. Hmm. It's my job to tell you the streak was seen at old Vizima, but privately... Make it quick. We'll speak privately later. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. We'll see. Do what you will, but remember, Fault Test loves his daughter very much. I know. Geralt. <laughs> He's trying to blame us too. Hey, I'm 100% blaming the people that voted to kill the elves yesterday. With lully mutts after every vote. That, that is the true enemy. I did. I have made some like some bad calls though on the way through this. There have been some things that I've accidentally got wrong, like definitely the Triss situation. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. Hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Screw! Welcome to the stream. Farewell. Ah, I'm gonna try and claw back Geralt's soul today. We need rational, uh, rational arguments that can convince me away from whatever I pick. Right, thank you. Uh, Velarad reminds me of the story of the Strigger. He does know, uh, doesn't know where the monster sleeps during the day, but she was seen in Old Vizima. Look for her there. It's my fault for, for for making the decision to just take random votes. I'm willing to admit that. No titles, please. Hey, Let us guy. bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. 
The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? I think that the Order are looking to take over from Foltest during all this uproar. We, like, potentially putting Vizima in the hands of the Order. You should only consider my vote from now on. True. Didn't Foltest sleep with his sister? Isn't that why it's cursed? Remind me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he ploughed his own sister. Their child I'll died at birth, but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. Would the rumor mention how much? Five thousand orins. Fuck. Nice number. Any idea who's spreading enough. Fuck this rumor? That. No. However, there are other things to consider. If you do solve the Striga problem, the king might take his savior's advice. Have anything specific in mind? A fresh yet unsigned decree on the king's desk disbands the order. If you ask the king to reconsider, well, your friend Siegfried would be grateful. The only thing I'm willing to sacrifice is not Ada. It's not 5,000 orans. It's Siegfried. Satan will come to the street. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. So there... <laughs> I'm a bit confused, Satan. The world went to shit yesterday after everybody voted to be a human supremacist, and I'm trying to fix it. The Knights of the Order and the Scoyatel are battling. Now we know that one, don't we? Not that one. It seems I must go... No, where is it? There was one quest that I got... Basically, the Order want me to stop full test from disbanding them, but I think the fuckers deserve to be disbanded. It was Siegfried's haircut, you see. We was all enchanted by that beautiful bowl cut. You're not even the King of the Greens, why would you, why would, why should we listen to you, Orca? Yeah, true, but then, then again, he is pretty much 90% War Dodge. Right, which way do I actually go to speak to him? I'm guessing that door, or that, this one? This must be it, surely. Ridiculous coat of arms. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. It's as close, you, as close as you get to King of the Greens without actually being more yes. Dutch. Tell you who he sounds like, that fucking guard from Witcher 3 outside the bathhouse. Wait, what's downstairs? Right, let's go. Mr. Full Test. Guy is shocked. I know everybody's eyes seem to have got like 50% wider in the last couple of streams. Witcher, your highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would... Would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred <clears throat> before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll oh, grant no. your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, Shani. sire. Good. 
Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. Yes, she did. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. It's that frog. Yes. You must know I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. I'd like to know why you sought Shani's participation in recent events. What is that little medic's role in this melee? We're lovers, nothing more, nothing less. Shani's a friend, she's not involved. Shani and I work close. There's no other business but ours. Oh, man! <laughs> this is me basically choosing whether I love her, I'm just shagging her, or she's just a friend. <laughs> um, Wait, maybe we could back out of our marriage to Triss. Not Triss, Shani. Jeremy Stublin over here, trying to deny the will of the people. I gave the people the will, and they fucked it. Tell me a politician in history that isn't basically trying to unpick some damage that the public vote did. Are we lovers with Triss? Oh, it's Shani, sorry. Are we more than that? Or is she just a friend? We're basically lovers, aren't we? Has there been anything to prove that Geralt loves her back, though, Scruff? Basically, Shani said, Oh, let's get engaged, and then Geralt ran away and never spoke to her again. But what about the fact that we haven't been back? Or done anything? Surely long-term relationships aren't contractually binded unless until they are, and an engagement is not that. Hmm. Hmm, she's definitely not just a friend, is she? She's a lover. I think it's a lover. I accidentally did propose to her, but the word accidentally is rather important in this. And do you know why? Can you remember why I accidentally uh, got engaged to her? Ryan, you can answer your own question here. I accidentally got engaged to Shani because I was trying to get a sex card. <laughs> and I immediately backed out of it and never even... I've not even looked her in the eyes since. It was all for sex, which even further proves that it's not one, it's two. Because I was trying to get a sex card, Ryan, yeah? If you decide to live in a stable, you're not a horse. It's a hundred percent too. Typical male, Disbury Dan Burns bra. All right. Other than that one act to try and shagger, that sound. I apologise if that sounds hard. But other than that one act where I went too far to try and have sex with her. What else has Geralt done that proves he loves her? It's the word accidentally, Augur, right? We're lovers. Nothing more, nothing less. Ha! I knew it from the start. My spies have much to learn. I suspected it was only sex. Enjoy, Geralt. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my Chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. One more thing, Witcher. Yes, sire. This is, um, confidential. So you must pledge these words will not venture beyond these walls. I shall take them to the Direction problems. Me. My spies tell me you play poker. And, well, I have trouble finding worthy opponents at court. They fear I would have their heads if I lost. Care to play? Is this really the time, Mr. Foltest? Really? Your Majesty? 
This is probably end game poker, right? Hmm, what do I want to do? You might have done it accidentally, but the story wouldn't say. Yeah, true. But if the game lets us down on our intent, then that's that's on my connection with the game. But if we're talking about the Geralt that I'm currently playing, he's evidently not in love with Shani. Uh, all right, all right. Do you know what? Full test. Let's go. As long as you don't ask too much money. Then again, I've got fucking like five and a half grand that I don't really need. Fine. If I want to return to old visit, okay, yeah, that's just a quest rolling in. Ooh, hello. Is two pair better than a? What's this? Fuck me, I'm gambling nearly all my money here. Come on, come on. Three or a four. Where are you going? If I beat him, I think this is the quest complete. Ouch. Ouch. Fucking hell. Uh. Awful. What the hell's that? <laughs> I'm terrified of losing all my money all of a sudden. Right, what what should I do? Just roll these three and hope? Yeah, I've got to do, haven't I? Unless I roll these two and hope for a three and a four, but what are the fucking chances, right? Fucking hell, I got lucky there. If I beat him, by the way. I can't see it happening, but if I beat him, that's this complete question completed. One, two, three. If... Is there any way I can beat this? Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fucking... How much money have I just lost? Ah, only about a grand. That's not too bad. I, rule a land of idiots. I just... I, I panicked and I just thought, no, run away. Before I got myself in an even bigger hole. <laughs> Alright, full test. Let me go and fix your fucking life for you. What have I got now? I realise Shani is very important to me that I wouldn't call our relationship love. That is a perfect way of explaining it. Full Test and I talked about the woman in my life. I think that Shani and I have grown really close. I'd hardly call it love, but the young medic has become very important to me. What about that? Can I get out and actually visit Shani? Full Test wants me to deal with the Salamandra once and for all. I really hope the king proves a trustworthy ally. I must make sure the Knights of the Order aren't killing civilians. Now, they did talk about false potentially dismantling the Order. And that, for me, is exactly what I'd like to happen. Mm, I don't know what to do next or where to start. False was quite clear. If I botch things with the Strigger and she suffers, my friends will suffer too. If, on the other hand, I manage to lift the curse, I can expect a reward. If she dies quickly and painlessly, or panlessly as the game says, I'll neither gain nor lose anything. I'm to speak with the Chamberlain if I want to return to old Vizima. Hmm. Right, let's go out to old Vizima. Let's go see what the shit's like outside. Yes? They call her pans just in case. <laughs> nice spelling, yes. Witcher. 
Let's, sir, can I go upside, please? I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? I am. I am. All right, girl, stealing my lines. Okay, I've not been out here yet. I've not been able to walk or explore it, really. Has the fire's gone out yet? Nope, have the bollocks. Hello? Did I just come in via a Chinook? This place is a big time at war though, isn't it? I should move on and search for clues as to the Strigger's whereabouts. I need to find Shani more importantly, Witcher. I still can't, I can't get out to Shani though, can I? I played some of the best play. Right, I don't know what we're doing. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do this one. The flame that cleanses. Where does it need me to go? Back out to the dike. Ooh! I might be able to get a sex card. Oh, not you, dickhead. Greetings, Witcher. I knew we would meet again sooner or later. Greetings, Rayla. Get your unit back? Yes. My reward for that elven slut. I told you I'd hunt her down. Teruvio? That's the one. Yavin's bitch. I handed her over to the boys, then we hung her. I've never seen anyone fight so fiercely. Decision time. A turning point. Stand aside, or fight non-humans. I chose to fight. Neutrality gone. The skirmish at Murky Waters was the first of several victories for the Order. The uprising nears its end. I just hope the victory is not too costly. They say Yavin's gone wild. Chaos reigns in the elven ranks. I see that. They're attacking without rhyme or reason. Try to keep up. We'll head to the field hospital in the center of Olvazima. I've already killed 20 Scoyatel. I wager you can't beat that. Any purpose to this excursion, apart from killing? Siegfried waits with important orders for me. Ready? Fucking hell. I bet really I could kill more Scoyatel than her. I need to collect squirrel tails as proof. Fucking hell, I'm trying to redeem this story here. For the whole playthrough's in the bin. And here I am collecting quests to kill non-humans for fun. No, I'm not ready. You can piss off. Right, where am I going? It's just... It's just a fucking war zone. Exactly, I'm playing Kill the Elf. Right, there's a field hospital where I think Shani is. I'm going to ignore the conflict if I can. Which is not going to be easy. Shani, let me in. I'm assuming Shani's in here. She is. Shani, speak to me. Oh, why is she there? You couldn't have killed more long ears than I. Quality over quantity. Excuses, excuses. Why are you looking at me that way? I was thinking about a certain legend. Ever heard of Raven's armor? Hmm. Yes. Where would I find an armorer capable of making Witcher's armor? The Order's armorer is excellent. He has a shop somewhere here in Old Vizima. All right, I'll find him. Oh God! Oh no! Shani's an angel. I swear on the eternal fire, her hands work miracles. No doubt. Are you badly hurt? Merely a scratch. Shani confirmed I'd be back on my feet in no time. Looks like your wound was caused by a... Hmm. Giant cleaver. Swung by a berserk butcher dwarf. He cut down three brothers, but I got him. Siegfried, every child knows to stay away from berserk dwarves. You were lucky. Oh, no. Have a minute. For you, always. I missed you. First, a kiss. Now? Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Master, kissing you as well, mate. I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Scoyatel set ablaze. 
Oh, great. Now I've got to run up a burning fucking tower as well. I better go talk to Shani. First and foremost, I must deal with the Strigger. I don't understand what's... Everything's coming apart. Rayla claims I should see an armourer who lives in Vizima. A soldier ran up to me and told me the Strigger was seen by the tower. I should check the uh, situation. So Taco said, by the way, Chris, man, I don't know if you was in the stream when we were talking about it. He said... Uh, well, it was in his stream. He said that this game, there's a big wide part where it's just running around in a swamp and it feels like nothing's happening and it comes in towards the end and just goes fucking 200 mile an hour. I think we've got to that 200 mile an hour part. Right, I met Shani at the hospital but we were interrupted by a messenger who told us that the Strigger was seen in town. I have to tend to the monster. Right, I guess we have to actually cure her, don't we? Rayla recommended a Vizeman armorer who can reforge Raven's armor for me. I don't know whether to go and try and get good armor to do this fight. That probably sounds like a wise thing. Right, I'm going to nip outside and see if I can speak to the armorer. I'm going to keep saving though as well because this is getting out of hand. I don't fancy a game of kill the elf. <laughs> they fancy it though, it seems. Understood. Fucking leave me alone, elves. Was this the armorer? Oh shit. Is it here? Okay, I took advantage of it and nip nipped inside. Kill the dwarf instead then. Nah, nah. Right, is this the armor? I'm guessing it's the armor because of all the uh, shit everywhere. Let me go upstairs, see if I can find the guy. I need somebody to make me this fancy armour. Hello? He's there. He's asleep. Greetings, sir. Greetings. White Rayla claims you make the best suits of armour in town. Ah, White Rayla. May the eternal fire guide her fighting arm. You must be a friend. Um... Do you know the tale of Raven's armour? Of course. Can you reforge it? Not so fast. Its maker used vile magic. Besides, the Spalder, Rerebrace, and Gauntlet alone remain. Hmm. But, if you bring me the components, I could. What will you need? The remaining parts of Raven's suit, plus the armor it inspired. That of Graf Cobus Reuter. The Graf what? fell at Brenna and was buried in the Swamp Cemetery. I'll bring you Cobus Reuter's suit of armor. What else? I can replace Elven songs with prayers to the Eternal Fire. But you must bring me both the notes of an elven songmaster and the litany of the sacred flame. I can find the elven minstrel in the swamp cemetery. Where's this swamp the swamp cemetery? St. Gregory's bones rest in the old seat of the supreme and sacred inquisition, long forgotten and locked shut. Perhaps the saint's legend will aid you. I'm listening. Heretics killed St. Gregory, an inquisitor, to avenge the kin purified with the eternal fire. Gregory awaited them in the temple, armed with his words of faith and an axe named Meat Cutter. Hmm. The mob twice assaulted the saint like a wailing wind, but he did not bow. When the saint spoke the litany, the eternal fire turned the vile heretics to ash. Gregory then sealed himself inside the temple and expired from his wounds. The legend contains the clue so his to ghost is gonna kick my fucking head. I would probably. try various element-based spells. I'll try. Right, what the hell? I've, I've got completely swamped with quests and changes to everything all of a sudden. And the fact there's a massive war outside and I can't take a minute's peace. I found a priest of Graf Reuter's armour. I still need what remains of the Raven's armour and the notes of an elven minstrel. I need to find the notes of an elven minstrel and the remaining pieces. Is there any way to track where I need to go for that? There is another section to the swamp. And it looks like the other section is bigger than the previous one. Oh, so much fucking swamp. Shit. So what, why am I, what am I doing? Right, let's try and... I beat the rock. We don't want to do that, do we? The armourer told me to bring him a piece of Raven's armour and the armourer of a knight of the De Reuter dynasty. The notes of an elven minstrel and St. Gregory's litany. He claims I'll find all of these in the Swamp Cemetery. 
I can gain access to the underground temple where St. Gregory is interred by solving the elemental puzzle the armourer told me of. I should review a copy of the legend of St. Gregory I have in my satchel. I can't put one foot in front of another. I've just, everything's confusing me all of a sudden. And the stakes are too high. A soldier ran up to me and told me the Strigger was seen by the tower. Right, let's just go and have a look at this Strigger. We'll sort that armour stuff out once I've sort of cleaned up the town a little bit. Or at least let things calm down. Right, okay. I need to run out here. And then immediately left and then round the street. Let's see. And try and get a bit of peace and quiet so I can slip through the tree. Fucking hell. Right, I'm going to go this way. You lot keep fighting. Do as you please. I need to go around this way. Help! Everybody just stop fighting. You're all idiots. Right. This looks a bit safer. You can tell by all the burning corpses on the floor. I'm going to steal some money from the, uh, from the order though. We've got some. Good. Good. That's elven money. It doesn't belong to us. So what's... How do I get in this tower? Shit, she's up there just fucking chopping people, isn't she? Sir, what's going on? Master? Tell me more about this Strigger. What's to say? She's the most Strigger-like Strigger there is. Have you nice. seen her? Truthfully, uh, no. Farewell. <laughs> what a brilliant source of information that chap was. Alright, lads. Just don't get eaten. Is that her? Wait, who's that? What's that? Is that Adder? A mute? Right, question. Is this Adder? It's not a Strigger, is it? It's a mutant. What? So maybe this isn't Adder. This is something different. Fuck okay, it. Let's just try and kill it and see what happens. Right, what? Hello? Oh, Kalkstein. Finally, that monster is dead. Why are you here? I heard soldiers were fighting a Strigger, so I came to see the Zima's famous Strigger princess. Though, not a Strigger. Still, interesting. Don't get too excited, Kalkstein. I'll pay these good soldiers to take these remains to my laboratory, and later I'll... Hold it. If not a Strigger, what is it? A combination of alchemy, genetics, biology, and black magic. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Like you. I can't we're wait good, we're good. to have a closer look. Like me? Similar. Magic and alchemy accelerates the mutation. The side effects are practically uncontrollable. It's hellishly quick and strong. To know more, I'd have to dissect it. I suspect I know who's behind this. Do you know where it came from? The soldiers said it came from the Swamp Cemetery. Take this scroll. It details the formula for a powerful potion that will help if you choose to fight the Strigger. So right, we need to. Older. Accelerated mutation and experiments on humans is a dirty business. And all based on stolen witches' secrets. Which you guarded for years without succumbing to any of these temptations. Congratulations. All right, but what about this Strigger? If the soldiers were wrong, I heard rumors of certain events in the swamp. What rumors? Be quick. They say a corpse was found at the old chapel there, torn open. No, the brickmaker! The large intestine stretched to its full one and a half meters. All six and a half meters of the small intestine wrapped around... That's fine, thanks. No, 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 no! 
Right, no. Oh, we're good. The Strigger still exists. Summon, welcome to the stream. The playthrough's gone to shit. At this rate, we might as well remove Witcher 3 from the Doom House Cinematic Universe, seeing as it, uh, it will never happen. I know, right? Do we even want it to happen at this point? Because Geralt's all of a sudden not very likeable. It's a combination of Corona and retail workers. Is that what you all look like? Ooh, not like that. Summon, have you had a day off yet or any solution? It's the daily check. The old brickmaker is dead. We're restarting this playthrough. I know. I know. Don't even bear thinking about. Right, okay. Coxstein claims a strange monster I slew was born of salamander experiments. The stolen witch's secrets are being used in a terrifying way. The soldiers contend to the uh, sorry. The soldiers contend the beast came from the swamp cemetery. The salamander hideout must be located there. Colstein claims the monster I killed was no strigger but a mutant. He did hear rumours of a strigger tearing someone to bits near the old chapel in the swamp. I must find a way to get there. But first, I should make sure my friends are all right. Right, let's now try and check in on everybody we know. The Solitary Tower is where we're at now. Let's just see if I can get in it. We need to go and make sure Zoltan and Dandelion and fucking Shani and Triss, etc. are all fine. The non-political, shall we say. Holy fuck, that's a big revere. Is there anything down that path that I need to look at? There's Kalkstein's lab. Let's go speak to him, see what's going on. I appreciate this is a bit scattered, this stream. I apologise. Uh, the events have sort of gone all over the place and we're entering what m looks a little bit like Endgame. We're on the final chapter, if nothing else. Geralt? The king asked me to handle the Strigger. Vampires once interested me. Unfortunately, I never examined a live... I mean, undead specimen. To defeat the Strigger, you must survive a night near her lair. I'd recommend getting weapon greases, especially Argentia and Crinfrid oil. Your famous Witcher signs will be useful. Eardon will stop the princess briefly, should she run amok. Eardon, apparently. Look at him drinking his days away because he doesn't want to see the world you've created. Colstein, <laughs> I was wondering. Yes? In your uh, studies of mutation, did you find any cure for infertility? Sorry, Geralt. As I expected. Farewell. Damn it. What, are you trying to create a new Alvin scene as you lost the last one, Geralt? So since uh, since you chewed out the front-end manager about things, they're letting me work. They have not changed our store hours, so we, for some fucking dumb reason, open one hour sooner, but close one hour earlier. If there's nothing to stock at the end of the night, it sucks to suck. Gotta go home at 8pm, even if you were supposed to work till 9.30. So they're basically shrinking your hours down a little bit, right? Now, the people that don't come in, that don't work the full day, are getting their hours shrunk. Hello? What did I say? I'm, I'm panicking. Okay, right, we've checked on Colstein, he's fine. Let's go out and we'll find out what's going on at Tashani. Liara Tashani. Let's go to the field hospital. We've got the old well and the barricade. I've just got to make it through the conflict in the main square. Is this a field hospital? I think it is. Let me see if I can run around the back. Can I get... No, I can't. If you're supposed to open at 8am, you're forced to come in an hour earlier at 7 to open... Hang on. Oops, oops. Why is it locked? One second. I am flustered to no end. Looters as well. Typical. As if it couldn't get any worse. Right, let me see if I can sneak into the front door. I'm in. And if you were supposed to open 8am, you're forced to come in an hour earlier with no new open and close times. What happened I with mean... Strigger? False Oop. alarm. Some mutant was attacking the soldiers. Need help? No more than anyone else. Let me decide. Shani. Looks like everything's in order. Would you like me to kiss you? Is the offer still open? Oh, Geralt. I missed you so badly. There, there. Everything will be all right. Where's Alvin? That's not so easy. I found him in murky waters. The village was attacked by men from the Order. Alvin took fright and teleported off. He could be anywhere. What's that? What's going on? Oh, no. 
Not Alvin. Who's she? Treating humans, I see. We wound them so they'll die. And you're treating them. How illogical and contrary to our interests. Out of my hospital. Murder each other to your heart's content in the street, but don't show your faces here. Shani, watch out. Kill the Dwan. Uh. Alright, alright, alright. Where's Shani? Did she immediately die? Oh, me there. Welcome to the stream. It's going really badly. I can't get a minute fucking feed. Oh, she's there. She's there. She's there. Come on, Geralt. Big spins. We're trained for this. The elves have attacked the city, Mina. We accidentally sided with the humans. And now the humans are burning the poor, and the elves are killing the rest. Shani, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, the healer's still up. Hey, 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 hey. We also have an interview with the local news. Get to be anonymous about the Whole Foods and how it's treating their employees. Tear them down. Hang on, hang on. Siding with the humans is always a mistake. True that. Basically, Mina, I gave the choice out to everybody, and the only people are the. Um... Have I done it? Have I done it? The decision was almost Brexit levels to um... <laughs> to side with the human supremacists. They wanted to slay the wounded. And I'm trying to How fix it. Anyone fall so low? I've seen worse in town. Thank you, on behalf of all the patients. Alvin. I have no idea where to look. He could be anywhere. Let's hope he's in good hands. Hmm. Shani. I've thought a lot about us. A life together. A family. Me too. Geralt, no. Let's not fool ourselves. It's impossible. Not here. Not now. We are who we are, and neither of us wants to change. What are you thinking? You're the best healer in Vizima. It's your calling, your future. You used to talk about going back to the academy, about teaching. I don't have to. I can treat people anywhere. No, that is your path. I have no right to take it from you. I have no right to deprive you of a normal life. Geralt, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either, but I don't want to hurt you. I'm a witcher. I lead a dangerous life. I could never forgive myself if something happened to you. Hold me, Geralt. Just one last time. That felt right. That felt good. And there is the heels as well. Did you see that? I don't want to hurt you, so I'm going to hurt you. You know what he means, right? You know what he means. Right, Shani, I'm just going to loot everything in this whole building. The score you tell. I'm not going to take the uh, their headbands. Actually, we'll drop them. But not about that. I do need the money. Oh, there's some fruit and nuts there. Holy fuck! We killed a lot of non-humans. Damn. That felt good. That. See, there is some. Why am I doing it this way? There is some good in this playthrough. We can salvage this. How is it that time? Fuck. Right. I apologise that today's stream's been a bit, sort of, all over the place. But I'm going to go for a lightning fast midstream break and then I shall be back. And hopefully we can start making a collection of good decisions in a row and try and at least right the ship a little bit. There's a war on. And apparently there is a rumour that the old brickmaker's had his legs pulled off. Ladies and gents, I shall be back. <gasps>
must be some kind of curse. die my heart is some kind of curse we'll all die i mean my heart must be some kind of curse My heart must be some kind of curse. Did I leave you to just listen to that guy whinging all the time? And again, is that the much of a break from normal? Right, welcome back. Let's try and get some 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 semblance of good going in this. Ending things with Shani like that was perfect. I actually feel like we've made some positive change or some positive dent in this playthrough. One second. <sighs> Right, what's next? Let me guess. Cloudy Lemonade. Mina, did you see it or something? How did you do that? It is, it's Cloudy Lemonade. He's got Corona. Who, that guy that was whinging and crying down there? Oh, Come on, bastards, I'll cut your balls off! Wait. History repeats Fucking itself. Hell. But this time we'll cut off more than your hand. Try it, Elvin Hag. I am White Railer. I don't fear you, Elvin Sadists. Kill White Railer, elves. Go on. No. Kill White Railer. Ow. Mind reading me. You did well. Kill White Railer. There you go, lads. There you go. Go kill her. Because fuck her. Ow. I got shot by someone. Who's shooting me? That's not part of the contract. Don't worry, Og, we're fixing this. I'm just going to hide here while they completely slaughter White, Ver White Railer. Threesome sex card. No, no, it's a fight, it's a fight. Right, I'm just going to stand here for a minute and <laughs> check my quest log. Basically, Mina, we've accidentally caused an enormous war. Well, not accidentally, the chat chose it, and I'm trying, I've taken over and I'm trying to fix it. We need to get out to the dike, don't we? What does that mean? No, not the date. We need to get to... There's a breach in the wall. Is that how we get out to the... That's probably where we're heading, but I need to cross the square at full speed. And then maybe sneak down that path and then in. Wish me luck. The score you tell killed her. Did you kill her? Ah, <laughs> white railer, fuck you. That feels good. That was a positive change. I've just got to survive. Where how the fuck am I going to get through here? Hello? Maybe that way. Maybe it's that way. Okay, we're going back. Don't worry, we're going back. I can't kill you. I'm not your enemy. I've made a terrible mistake, but allow me to atone for my sins. I will fix this if it kills me. This is all because of Siegfried's haircut. Shit, there's non humans everywhere. Leave me alone, everybody. What did you say about Lutus earlier, Og? Lutus running around with three toilet paper. I can't get out. The blockade's just completely in the way. Have I genuinely got to slaughter all of these elves to stop it? Right, I should see my friends and consider what to do next. The Scoyotel have surrounded White Railer by the hospital. I must help her. Can I maybe go through houses? I can't go through that door. Observe your own death. 
Sorry, madam. He can go through that one, but I can't, apparently. Damn it. Fucking people can loot, but I can't get out. Is there another way I can get out to the dike, maybe? What about up here onto the wall top? Oh, this is so bad. Right, this is where I started, isn't it? Then maybe I can get through the gate to the dike, but I think what I have to do is maybe kill all the forces. So what I'm hoping is I don't have to kill the elves in the city. Fucking looters. Let's go this way. I'm assuming... Oh, there another. The gate's not locked. Sir, please, just leave. Just leave. Thank you. Right, I can get out to the dike. Where does this take me? Anywhere? Right, that this just takes me up here. Sir, please! I don't want to hurt you any more than I already have. Shit, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. I don't want to do this, but are you giving me no choice? Actually, let me run him over here. Maybe I can stun him. Oh, fuck. That's just me aggroing a lot of people I can't fight. What about it? Ah, I don't want to kill anymore. Right, both of you get stunned. Beautiful. Geralt, run. Ow, run. Get out of combat. Fuck, it's locked. I really have got to kill every single elf, haven't I? Non-human. I can fix this if you stop fucking attacking me. Yeah, alright. I was hoping there was some sort of way that I could pick option three. Jesus, Geralt, for fuck's sake. No, it's not Siddles. I think what I'll maybe do to prove that the game is still, the playthrough is still alive, welcome to the stream, by the way, is maybe write like The Witcher or something under the title. There is an option three. But it isn't what you want it to be. I, no, no, there's a way we can get through this. I'm trying to show off while killing him as well. I know. Don't do it again, Geralt. <laughs> I hate this. Right. Let's just fucking try and regain some health. I'm trying to turn some terrible decisions around. Instead of just going gung-ho. What I'm trying not to do to have a fable ending where it just felt completely unsatisfying because that's mad my opinion on the ending of that game and that was my fault that time that was definitely my fault because I fucked up the uh, voting system right or I made it too complex and it was difficult for us all to get a grasp on what everybody was voting for okay I need to save White Railer don't I All right, all right. Sorry, lads. You leave me no choice. I would rather not be doing this. It was just too. It was too complex. Yeah, it was. It was a misunderstanding. But I should have made it simpler. This is. This is. Th That was a super fucking chop. Right, we've got to find a way through this. Even if it's just leaving the conflict, even if it's just not getting any more involved than doing like <sighs> Come on, bastards, I'll cut your balls off. Wait. History repeats itself, but this time we'll cut off more than your hand. Try it, Elvin Hag. I am White Railer. I don't fear you, Elvin Sadists. Ah! 
Immediately shot. See that? Fucking Jesus. Um, is it a... Wait, how the fuck am I going to do this? That's two chops. Write that down, Augur, for me. I need to, because I'm supposed to be tracking them. Do you think I kite them? Maybe. I can't just stand there and fight, can I? Come on, bastards! I'll cut your balls off! Wait. History repeats it. Try it. <laughs> My mindset is kiting the stream. I'm having connection problems. Right. Lure a few of sat away. Two. Two I can deal with. I want to concentrate and then I'll let that happen, right? So quick, I can't do group stance. Three chops. Piss. Fucking. <laughs> so I can't get out of the city without killing everybody. Look 34. Oh, look 34. Oh, you mean 34 seconds delay? Damn it. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll scratch your eyes out. Right, so I'm, I'm going to try and count them. Three. So White Railer immediately gets butchered. That's one dead. It's them dwarf berserkers that just cut me to shreds. I killed the healer. Maybe I can taunt a few over here that aren't archers. Right, I've saved after killing one. What do you want, pal? You alright? Oh, he's only young, he's not getting involved in this. Kill the other healer, kill the healer, kill the healer. Nope, 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 no. I just get immediately chopped. Is that five or four? That's four, I think, chops. So I'm recording them, you see. I should have some sort of counter, shouldn't I, that counts how many times I get killed. I might actually put it on. I don't know where the chop counter is on this scene. Wait, wait, hang on, where am I now? Why do they do this? I have no idea, pal. No worries, Ogre. You can imagine when you get... Uh, if you ever catch up with the stream, it's going to be just... The same Vizima, but ten times worse Seems because of strange. decisions made on my part. Right. I don't understand how I can... So the group tactic doesn't work on groups, which means that everything I've specced into is completely useless. Good. Good. Who's still shooting at me? This fucker. Hello? Mate, you alright? No. Are you raiding tonight? Oh, just, you were gone, weren't you? You mean a Thandia yesterday and Alavir decided that they was going to wrest control of the guild back. And... Them two have so much trust from the guild that they said, right, we're going to fuck off this guild you've all been in for ages because we haven't got guildmaster rights and rights to the Discord and rights to the site and the guild leader who has got them's fucked off. So if you'll all G-quit now, we'll invite you to the new guild. And everybody just went, all right then. And immediately G-quit. Like, almost, like, probably 30 people immediately G-quit. It was amazing. It was so smooth. Thandia and Alave have got a lot of trust. Right, they're all just going to keep spawning, aren't they? This is not, this is not helping Rayla. 
If I had any fucking potions, it would help. I keep trying to use signs, and that's the problem. Just don't... If I get to, like, 30% health... Actually, speaking of signs... Can't skip... Can't run away. Can't run away. Now that should get them burning for a little while. But their healer is obviously keeping them up. And the archers are not helping. They've proven themselves as great. They really have. Especially last night when Thandia basically led one of the cleanest molten cores I've seen that guild do. If I get one shot, it's the fifth chop. Ah! Run, 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 run. No. I was eating fruit and nuts and got the fifth chop. I might actually put the counter on just so I can keep a track of how many times I've died. Have I got the counter on this scene? Oh, it's been a while since we've seen that. Right, bear with me. Fancy a chopped counter, anyone? Shit, this is not helping. This is not helping. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to kill these or just to get out of the city. Because it's that group there are the ones that I can't kill. So even if I was to go down the, the shitty path now, I'd still have to do this. Right, let me let the mana go all the way up. Stubbs going murder hobo. It seems that way, I can't help it. I think I have to kill these to maybe go out and then start fixing shit. Alright, let me see. Bloody hell, I've only got half an hour left. Stun the healer. Right, the huntress can die. Trouble is, when I'm stuck in these animations, look, look, my health just drips away. So finishing moves are off the table. Ow! I have to do a really complicated way of getting the chop counter to go up like this. Right, what... I... Hmm. The quest basically says... But what does the quest say? The Scoyatel have surrounded White Railer by the hospital. I must help her. I can't do anything else. Like, what other options have I got? Where can I go to? Can I get down the old well? Or is that just a location? Colkstein's lab doesn't get me anywhere. The solitary tower was locked. I can't get to the barricade. I think I have to complete this quest just to even get out of the city. I think. But that's not going to be as easy as it looks. Fuck. Um, and obviously every time I try and go back... More enemies spawn. Mm, look, they're just going to keep spawning until I can save White Railer. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. Right, they're already shooting at me, look. And now you can't, can't afford you spawning as well. If only I had some swallow potions or something that might keep my health up, I don't. And they're just going to keep flooding in, aren't they? Fuck it. I guess I just have to keep going in and praying. I'll scratch your eyes out. You probably will, madam. You probably will. Right, get one hit in. Now I'm bleeding. Get out of there. Get out, get out. Move, 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 move. Okay, you can die, please. I'm being shot to shit from a distance. But I have killed one of them. Geralt, can you move, please? Hello? Am I still being chased? No. I've been shot from a trillion miles away. Right, line of sight, the archers. Or is it an archer in... There's an archer in that building. Okay, now... Eat some fruits and... <laughs> I've just realised what we should have been giving the cow all that time. Because that's what I eat them... Bit 
too much, Geralt, let's be honest. Are you stuck? If I could meditate somewhere, that would help. There's the old trope of me always getting the bad ending. How does it always keep happening? Did we get the bad ending in GTA 4? Yeah, Roman died, didn't he, in GTA 4? We got the bad ending in that as well. Bad ending in Bioshock. Right. Let me now... I'm going to save, and I'm going to see if I can go in and get another one killed. Geralt, can you just... I have not got very much health, so this is going to have to be very quick. If at all. Run, 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 run. Does that mean the chop counter go up? Oh. Jacob died, wasn't it? Jacob, yeah, Jacob died on that mission where we was doing the um, helibeds, yeah. <laughs> he definitely died there. But right at the very end, Roman got killed. Right, we're at seven chops. The Swordmasters are actually coming this way on their own. Maybe I can just... No, because they always twang back to their original position. And I'm already getting shot. Maybe I can get back round to another position. Not you, please. Did you die, please? I appreciate your... Uh, Involvement, but I need as much health as I can get. Okay, right now. Nice roll, girl. But eat a pear. I need to find a position where they don't spawn from. Such a nice sunny day here, and so are you really quiet? Are people actually sticking to the uh, social distancing? As I look outside now, I see two kids on bikes. A dog walker and a woman's just gone by on an electric scooter. And lots of traffic. <laughs> it's not happening here, alas. Crisis was saying, by the way, they've almost got martial law in this town. Because this town's one of the worst infected in Serbia. And they've, well, you, you were probably reading it yourself. So scary. I thought it was just because of the smell, but it turns out it's actually because of the, uh, the virus. Right, do I have any way of... Increasing health regeneration. No, 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 no. I could maybe upgrade the weapon. Nothing. Nothing. Right. I need to get through this quest. I don't know if fighting the game is wise, it probably isn't. But if I can kill at least one more of these. No. That is another chop. I'm gonna have to get the extender out on Witcher. Seems so groups of more than ten people are banned. The thing is, is what like I don't understand why the the limit that. I guess that's just for workforces, right? Maybe the groups of more than ten people thing. Because I don't know why they have that rule as a as a. I mean, I understand why, but I don't get what the. Like, what scenario are they allowing? Unless they've just reduced it to the point where it's like done. Like it should be, it should be no, sorry, surely it should be no social gatherings, unless it's absolutely necessary. And it's also for private get-togethers and everything, right? So just don't do anything in groups. I understand why, I just, I don't quite understand why it's sort of written that way. Also, here's a question about the, witches, uh, the Witcher games, right? The Silver Sword is for monsters, right? Which is 
anything that didn't come from Earth before the conjunction of the spheres. What about elves and dwarfs? Are they steel or are they silver? Are they human or are they monsters? In that binary way of sorting things. So they're human, Ryan, is that what you're saying? I'm not just saying what the game says. It's, it's, it's irrelevant about game mechanics. It's about the law. Like, the elves and the dwarves weren't around before the conjunction of spears. They are there because of the same thing that created the magic. It's human and non-human. I don't think there's the law is as black and... That's what I'm trying to say, Gwynblade. Ir irrespective of the game. So the steel sword is for, like, wolves, bears, humans, big pigeons, crocodiles, tigers, and all that sort of shit, because that's the pre... conjunction stuff. But the elves are evidently not. The elves are there because of the same thing that caused all the monsters. It's human and non-human. Oh, so they're silver. No, wait, you said it's steel. Oh, you mean the steel sword is for human and non-human. The sword forged of three red pieces. Okay, used to fight humans. Okay, so that is just for humans, not humanoids, just humans. And that is for monsters. Yeah. Uh, it's advised to not have social get-togethers, but they had to make limits for people to make people take them seriously. Yeah, I guess. It's more of a, probably a language thing, right? To at least make people understand. So we've got one for hu uh, one for humans and one for monsters, right? If the, if we just use the game's overly simplistic model, we've got steel for humans, silver for non-humans, uh, monsters. Where do dwarves and elves fit into that? I'm not asking on. I'm not asking what the damage is in the game. I'm saying how does it categorise it? Say hello to death. Fuck it, there's absolutely no chance I can get anything done in there. One tactic that I might be able to do is go in with Igni. So there are three categories. There is humans, non-humans, and monsters. Yeah. Because if, if it was a law-wise, then it should absolutely be silver for elves. But I guess the game... But then how do you categorise an elf and a werewolf? Is Vincent silver? Well, he obviously he is. Werewolf's definitely there. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's a bit shit, really. Do you know what I mean? Do you think? It should categorise. It should create that moral grey area where you're not quite sure whether to... Where elves aren't just... Oh, they're humanoids, so they're good. Right. Let me see if I can set them on fire. This is my new tactic. Run! That's doing a lot of damage. But the healer is still up, which is a problem. If I can group them all back up together, set them on fire again. But look at my health, it just drains away while I'm doing this. Right, I'm still damaging them. The elven healer's coming. She's coming, she's coming. Right. Uh... Human sword. Right, kill the healer. The healer's dead. Now if I save again, I apologise for constantly saving, I'm just trying to get through this bit. Then go back in on the sword masters with Ad. Nice, nice, nice. Run, 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 run. Killed another one. It's going to have to be a bit like this, I think. The good old Doomhouse runaway tactic. Is there anyone coming? There is not. Stop now, at once. Oh, shit. Ooh, not you. <laughs> you I can, uh, can uh, categorise quite easy. Right. It's the fucking berserkers, isn't it? Look, 
health just drips away. Brave out of Oh, I see what you mean, the NPC shouting. Calm down stuff, don't take it so hard. When will I learn? <clears throat> I really don't need that fucker there. You can die. Kill another one. Can I get out of combat and save? <laughs> I'm just tickling him down. What's that sound? Alright, I'm gonna eat a fish. Isn't the law in the games that the elves were here before the humans and got stomped because they're tree huggers rather suddenly appearing like monsters? I hope, well, you might I might be wrong then. If that is the case, then then I completely agree with the game. If that's the truth, Ryan, then yeah. I always thought that the idea behind the Witcher was that the world is pretty much how our world was in around a similar year. And then the conjunction of spheres brought everything not of our world in it all at once. You seem to be stuck between a rock and an hard place. It's going to take hard work to get over it. Basically, right, I thought the conjunction of spheres was the thing that turned a normal world into a fantasy world. Brought with it the elves and everything. No, oh, ow. Get out, run, run, run. If he gets one hit on me, I'm dead. I shouldn't be using the group stand either, should I? I've just realised. No, get out, no! I've got so far, please don't die now. No, no! Stop! Leave me alone. Can't you see I've had too much? The fuck I can't get the chopped extender out. There we go. Right, double digit chops. Honestly, March was looking really good as far as chops were concerned. I was confident. Now I've got ten in one day. <laughs> right, when did I last save? Oh, I've still got loads to kill. Geralt, just relax. White Railer. What a shame. Stop, stop, stop. Quinn Life gives you lemons, mate. Cloudy lemon is. Wait, White Railer's chopping. No, she's not. She's dead. Right, go in. No, don't, don't drink. Not alcohol, you tit. What have I just done? Attack efficiency reduced by 50% because I accidentally got drunk. Brilliant, Geralt. Well played. Right, go in. Wish me luck. Fuck, she's quick. Dead, dead. Berserker behind me. And I'm bleeding. Watch this. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What's that fucking Berserker doing? What's he doing? <laughs> Stop. Stay indoors, sir. There's a virus, don't you know? Right. Can I get out of combat yet? Why well, can't I eat that gutted fish? Eat the fucking fish, Geralt. Thank you. That's one way to make it harder. Fucking hell, this has gone so bad. Cloudy lemonade would really quench my thirst. Lemon day. You mean lemonade? Watch this. Berserker kill. You ready? Ow. Ow. Nine minutes to marvels. It's every time I say, are you ready, watch this, something bad happens, isn't it? Why didn't I add proc? 
Proc now, Ad. Proc. Yeah! Cardi, welcome to the stream. The game's fucked. The playthrough is on tatters. And Geralt's gonna die! <laughs> Run! Fuck it, leg it. I put the chopped counter on just to, to, so I can write it down at the end of the stream so I know how many times I've died. Huntress, die! That's good, that's good, that's good. Don't stun me, don't stun me. No, you're not dead, Geralt, you're not dead, you're not dead. Get up, get up. You're gonna die now, though. I'm at zero HP. I can't run towards the Berserkers, and I'm already slowed. <laughs> How did she stand up so fast? Geralt, what are you doing? This is miserable. The events of yesterday's stream caused a, a massive civil war, and all I've got to do is kill some elves, but they're way more powerful than me. Lemonade is the new lemon-based dessert. Uh, lemon Day is the new lemon-based dessert offered by McDonald's. I'd eat it. I've got no potions, Dan. I've got nothing. What I could do is just sit here for like 10 minutes and let my health bar go all the way up to the top. I don't want to be drunk, that's the only problem. Can I get a double health? There we go, now we're talking. I'm going to sit and heal. Isn't Sunday already lemon? Oh god, one good thing about McDonald's in this summer is, uh, in summertime, is the strawberry lemonade things that they do. It's like ice with... Oh, it's so good. The fuck is going on plot-wise? Basically... I'm about ready to kill the Salamandra. Fall test has returned. But um, he's not concentrating on the fact there's an enormous brutal civil war going on outside. And um, he wants us to cure Adder, who's a strigger again, for some reason. But I've got to get out of the city. And the way to do that is to be allowed out of the city. I think soft ice with uh, sweet lemon sauce would be tippy top. Yeah, it would right now in these trying times right I've got healed back up to 50 well 30% HP I love this. look at that I couldn't even get one out of because these guys are so fucking powerful and if I run out here I encounter the huntress who's even more powerful can't you just kill all of them and leave that way <laughs> scrub that's what I've been working on for an hour Fuck, I could eat a waffle with ice cream now. I could eat anything. Just anything to stop me playing this. I just want to get out of the city. It's just this fight that's... I don't, for some reason, it's just brutal. And I aren't prepared, which is a problem as well. Right. I've got at least a little bit of health left. At least I don't have that. The, berser the, berser the berserker that was there is now over in the distance. I just need to get a good proc here. Watch. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Die, Huntress. One more, one more. Just the berserker. Okay, okay, okay. Now wait. There's a Gravier around that corner that I don't want to encounter. Save. And... If I can get a proc off. No proc. Oh, I did it. Managed, but thanks. Don't mention it. Come, we'll speak where it's safer. She invited me to her hideout. Where? We don't want the sex card from White Railer, do we? She's been an almighty cunt in the last two streams, and I don't mind saying so. God, that does sound good. You might as well. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you might as well at this point is probably the best way of saying it. What's this? 
I don't think it's on. The, I'm not a hundred percent sure whether it's on the. I'll say table for, for, for so that so I don't have to say cards. Right, Rayla, where are we Hurry going? I'm right here. After you. White Rayla and I easily dealt with the Scoyatel Commando. She invited me to join her in the command post she's established in a nearby building. Okay. Is it here, Rayla? It is. Is Alvin just a happy shopper version of Siri then? I. It remains to be seen. He's ridiculously powerful. Hang on, there's people here. We must attack the barricade and hold it until reinforcements arrive. Retreat, and the Scoyatel will control almost all of old Vizima. In a moment, I must speak to Rayla. Oh no, we've gone upstairs. As a warrior, you're almost ideal. Almost? Yes, almost. There may be no man who can defeat you, but a female. You mean yourself? Possibly, but I meant in general. You're very old-fashioned. You'd never hit a woman, or at least you'd hesitate. I don't think so. Stop pretending, Geralt. We both know a conscience can be deadly. Hesitate and there'll be a blade in your gut before you know it. You're deluded. I'll prove it. We both know you'd never draw your sword against a woman. What? Since when? The cunts are... The... Oh. oh, fine. Fine, I'll say option one before you all say it. I know other ways to tame you. <laughs> prove it. If you can. Fucking hell, just like that apparently. <laughs> there you go. If nothing else in today's stream, I managed to get a sex card from the biggest dickhead in the history of the Witcher universe. Oh dear. Oh, I can finally see. Oh, I've got two gold talents. Straight to group steal. Jesus Christ. I don't think I have high enough level to spend. I'll do all this at another time. It's too late, too late in the day for this. Why do I always arrive when you're looking at mucky stuff? It's been a difficult stream. As you can tell by the fact the chop count has appeared. Oh my god. Let me see it. You want to see it again, Mina? Hang on. Hang on. Rayla surrounded Taruvia. She, she fucking hung Taruvia earlier. There you go, Mina. This fucking game, honestly. What the hell am I doing? Colkstein claims the monster I killed was no striker. Right, this one, right? We're on our way to take the barricade. Yevon, mad with grief after Teruviel's death, is sure to attack, condemning himself to certain death. I have to do this quest to get out of the city. I am really, 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 really unhappy with what happened in this game. Ah, due to our own choice, though. It's not the game's fault. Fuck. Right. Whatever happens is going to be. It's going to have to be on Monday. But on Monday, we go back to three-hour streams. Finally and officially. God damn, I thought yesterday's stream was heartbreaking. That one's worse. On the plus side, we did successfully chase uh, Shani away. Mario, welcome to the stream. Right. 12 chops was the final count. Let me get rid of the chopped counter in parts. Because for now, we need to pick a winner. Right. I need a word. Has somebody got a word for me? It's been such a fracturous stream that I'm surprised anybody's still left. Moria is the current record holder. If anybody would like a marble, say the word. <laughs> Dongle. There you go. Someone's picked us a word. <sighs> Supremacy. This is such a fucking hell. I need to go for a lie down after this stream. Dingle, dingle. 
restaurant called Silo that offers incredible views over Copenhagen and the water. Don't read it, Cardi. Don't read it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Dan gets two marbles today. That is very true because yesterday uh, I, ne I completely missed the fact that Dan had said it. And when I scanned over the list to check, to check I missed that as well. And then when I did the roll call, everybody else failed to notice. So the fates fucked Dan over. Even Dan failed to notice. So today Dan gets two marbles. We also have summon for the Greens. Where's Dan showed up at the end to get two marbles? <laughs> we have Scrove for the Greens. We have Ryan for the Oranges. We have Jamie for the Greens. We have Cardi for the Greens. Mina, would you like a marble? We have Satan for the oranges. Moria for the greens. Have I got slops on the list? I have not. Have I missed a few? Yeah, I'll give Dan credit. He has been here for the whole thing. Right, I've got Moria, etc. Is there anybody speaking that hasn't got one? Mina, would you like a marble? You would. Got it. Good, we have 11 marbles. Is there anybody else? We'll just have two tomorrow. Right, everybody carefully listen now. Do you hear your name? Didsbury Dan, Summon, Scrove, Ryan, Jamie, Cardi, Satan, Moria, Slops and Mina. If you do not, call out now. Right, first person to write a number between 1 and 10 picks the level. Unless it's per per Haunted Hills or whatever, or procedural, well, anything that's got procedural in it. Scrove says four. One, two, three, four. Eye of the Storm 2. That'll do us just nicely. No more marbles enter in 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. We are done. We begin. Best of luck to everybody. Oh no, Paul. Oh no, wait. We've got to say Portal Bridge tomorrow. Look at this. The level is called Eye of the Storm 2. The current record holder is Kitten on 1 minute and 46 seconds. Good luck to everybody. 3, 2, 1. If Didsbury Dan doesn't win this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 orange marbles and 6 green. Cats, welcome to the stream. Just a tiny bit. I apologise. Thandia, welcome to the stream. Have you been watching? Slops has got an almighty quick lead right there. Mina and Ryan chase on the right hand side. Someone on the left hand side. Where do I know this song from? This is the one we always play in Marble Stand here. It's from some like spy music playlist or something. Summon and Slops are in the lead for the Greens. The Greens are dominating at Marbles lately. And as you can see, that's not something that's going to change very soon. Slops and Summon are Matt. A rogue Didsbury Dan out of nowhere takes the lead with Slops coming in second place. Wait, does Gwynblade have one? Have I missed Gwynblade off the list? Are you kidding me? I think I have. Ah! We need to find a way for the roll call so it, that we, it actually works. Gwynblade, I'll give you two tomorrow. Is this. Ta are you all tactically letting the ro uh, ignoring the roll call? Ooh! Is Didsbury Dan going to get through the Eye of the Storm first? He isn't. Didsbury Dan takes a chop. Yeah, we do. We do, Gwynblade. We've let you down. Slops comes out at the end and Slops has got chops. Ryan has got chops. What the hell is this obstacle? Someone has made it through. But she also gets chopped. Didsbury Dan, the second, manages to make it. Can anybody overtake Didsbury Dan? Didsbury Dan Prime has died. Didsbury Dan... Junior is having a bit of trouble. What's going on in the storm? Satan has made it out. Are there any greens going to make it out? Scrove keeps getting thrown around. Satan has got chopped. Didsbury Dan Junior is having a lot of trouble. Scrove has got chopped. Cardi's going to try and not get chopped. What's Didsbury Dan Junior doing? Cardi is chopped. Can Moria overtake Didsbury Dan or is he finally going to get out? He is. 
What the fuck is this course? Moria. Can Moria overtake him? She may stand a... Ridan wins a point for the oranges. Absolutely no idea what the fuck that course was. That was terrible. Now, I think something has happened to the physics in this game in an update since this level was made. Because they don't usually all happen like that. Yes, cats, a few times. But usually not on a level like this. Right, Gwynblit. Right, we need to think of a system where the roll call works. So my, the system that I've been using for the last two days has been, everybody listen, and if you don't hear your name, let me know. And I've still managed to miss two fucking marbles. Right, Gwynblade, you get two tomorrow, somebody remind me. Dan, did you beat Kitten's record? Did you bollocks? A whole minute out. Woof. Just had Twitch integration in it. Nah. 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 We'll do it this way. Right. It's since I've been doing the roll call. If you don't hear your name and you don't speak up, that's on you in your, in my opinion. Well, usually I like to shoulder the blame for everything, but I will say that I may have missed it, but the roll call is there for a reason. Fuck. Right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. As if that stream couldn't have got any worse. <laughs> Not only is the political situ situation in The Witcher fucked. Not only is Geralt's moral situation in The Witcher fucked. Also, the game hit me with an impossibly difficult combat section. I died 12 times, and then Marbles was all fucked up at the end. Not only did I miss somebody on the list, I also managed to pick a fucking terrible level. What a shit show. I even said, I will win at the start. I know, as well, Dan, that is the first time you've ever said, I will win at the start of a Marbles. It's quite spooky, really. Right, is anybody on we know? There is not. What we shall do... Who picked the course, though? Scrove and Jamie were the only two to uh, write numbers, and they both said four. Nope, this is the internet, and I have been ra uh, wronged. Yeah, it was a random number, Satan. But still, it's the Doom House. It's my... Uh, I've got to take blame for everything, apparently. That's what everybody's told me over the last few months of streaming. Years, even, should I say. Right, should we pick a zero-viewer streamer and go and spoil someone's day? Suck it, wronged person. <laughs> right, we need a we need a man. We need a person. We need somebody to stream, to host. Think of a game. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Raid Amaran. We'll go raid Core Carnage. I heard he needs the viewers. Right, we'll go to Tomb Raider. Seen as the last. That's the last game we beat. Raiding tombs and taking names. This guy will do. Ori. No, I might give spoilers. Do you know what? Fuck it, we'll do it another time. I just want to end this stream and get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, thank you for putting up with that today. That was a fucking shit show. Now, tomorrow is Portal Bridge Constructor. If I beat it, um, or if we beat it, we shall do a Monster Marbles after it. It's only a two-hour stream, but we are right at the very end of the last level. So there's a potential Monster Marbles. So you can join me for that. Uh, if that is the case, Gwynblade, we'll give you double on Monday. Anyway, it is with great pleasure that I can say that today's stream is over and I can say Cats, Slops, Didgeridan, Satan, Gwynblade, Cardi, Ryan, Mina, Thandy and everybody else. Thank you for joining today. Apologies for the uh, for how, un how quickly it all unraveled, but I'm going to get out of your lives and I'm going to say thank you very much for joining. I shall see you bright and early tomorrow. If I don't, I'll see you in Discord. But for now, I need a word to end this on. Congratulations to Didsbury Den, by the way. Didn't mention Gwynblade again. Did I not? Gwynblade, thank you for your uh, involvement, shall we say. Hey, at least I can't get called out for nepotism, right? That's it. Vestibule is the word that Dan says we're ending on. So everybody just sit and think of the word vestibule. The music's finished. 
I just just vest vestibule, vestibule, hey Jeff, vestibule apparently. Just uh. Get fucked. Thank <laughs> you.